Hello, everybody, and welcome to the My Reason Why Delaware informational Q&A session. My name is Scott Michaels, and I am here with The Cause, and we are lucky to be partnering with the Department of Public Health and the Department of Human Health Services, DHSS, to bring you a statewide contest and initiative called the My Reason Why. Uh, basically, we are joining together for a statewide collective peer-to-peer -peer campaign message. Uh, where we're really focusing on youth and youth organizations. Thank you everyone for joining. We're gonna go quickly through a presentation here to hopefully get everyone to understand what we're gonna be pulling off this summer and how you can get involved. And we're gonna end with a question and answer session for you all. I am going to make this smaller, so I there we are. All right, if we're all ready to roll, let's go. So what is the My Reason Why contest and uh, initiative? Well, it's a statewide peer-to-peer -peer positive focused PSA campaign. We'll get to that in a second, where youth are going to be acknowledged for their reasons for safe, uh, living safe and healthy lives, all while sharing pertinent prevention information. Uh, it is open, this contest and initiative is open to all Delawareans in all three counties from the ages 14 to 25. And we're really hoping to get support from their local youth serving agencies. So the people on the call and the people who will be watching this particular presentation and ones to come, we're really hoping that if you are a youth serving organization that you will be helping us to identify one, two, three, four, as many actually as possible youth to participate in this initiative, which we will make very easy for you to participate. And you will see there's lots of benefits for you as well. Uh, when we say that we are focusing on positive videos, I want to be clear that uh, research has been showing that a lot of times youth repel videos that are negative focused when it comes to preventing substance abuse uh, or misuse in the community. So this whole campaign is focused on what we call protective factors. And those are the skills and strengths or the resources and people that help us deal effectively with stressful events. So uh, if we have ways to get uh, our stress outlets, whether it be sports, whether it be clubs, uh, trusted adults, these are actually ways to help enhance people's resilience and their uh, ability to say no when it comes to peer pressure as far as trying substances. So we are really focusing on uh, what makes a youth or a person, uh, what, what is their reason, that's why it's called my reason why, what is their reason for living a substance-free life? And generally, we don't want to focus on my reason is because I don't want to die. Um, so through the trainings, that we'll talk about in a second. Uh, an example would be, you could start uh, by giving a fact that one Delawarean dies every 22 hours due to opioids, but that's nothing I have to worry about because I'm opioid free. And my reason why is I have too many goals and dreams that uh, need my direct focus and attention. And I don't have any time to, to waste uh, with substance abuse. So that's my reason why. And then with that, you can brag about your uh, your accomplishments, what you're working on. And of course, if this is youth, we want them to be promoting the great things that they're doing in their lives. And if that happens to be connected to a club or an organization or a substance abuse prevention uh, mission of yours, all the better. Uh, how is it going to work? Well, we are really trying to make this as simple for you as possible. And of course, 100% free to be a part of this month, uh, multi-month long collaborative uni uni yeah, sorry, unified voice. First, we are asking you to attend one of the four trainings. Uh, you will see the dates in a moment. Uh, after attending a training, which uh, basically is about an hour uh, to two of actual workshop training, then we will have a professional video uh, recording studio set up on the sites for the participants to film professional videos that will be edited for them uh, on their PSAs, but they will also be able to create a video using their cell phone. And this whole initiative is really trying to have multiple messages from multiple messengers. And so we're gonna encourage both the use of cell phones for these PSAs, as well as uh, if you'd like to take advantage of a professional uh, 
production company, the state has funded that to happen. So take advantage of it. Next, we're going to ask people to post their videos with the My Reason Why DE hashtag. And finally, we're going to celebrate uh, at the end, including some awards, and we have a nice closing ceremony that will be happening. Here are the dates of the workshops that will be coming up. So far, all of the dates have been scheduled uh, except for the July one. We are still waiting for our confirmation on where the July uh, Kent County training will be. But take a look right here. Uh, we're starting off June 28th at Sussex County Health, uh, and we'll get you the information once you register to where the exact address of these places are. Uh, that's going to be from 3 to 7 p.m. That's a Tuesday evening. So again, from around 3 to 5 will be the training, and then we'll have uh, hours open for the production company to help you make your PSAs. Uh, in, on August 17th is going to be a virtual online version that at least will occur from six to eight. At least it might go later than that. We are going to have a production company up. This is going to be done out of Bellevue. So um, if you want to attend live, that's possible. But the focus is going to be on helping people who can't attend one of the live trainings to learn how to enter the contest and be a part of this. And then September 17th at Newcastle at Bellevue Community Center, we're going to be having one from 12 to 4. Right here is a tiny URL link and uh, tinyurl.com slash my reason why DE22. This will take you directly to a Google Doc. And on that Google Doc, as a matter of fact, I could probably uh, share it with you, but it will ask you which of the trainings you would like to attend, ask you for your email, and we, uh, we would prefer that you please contact us beforehand if you're planning on uh, coming to one of these trainings to make sure we have enough room. It's also going to ask you to put the names of your participants. So say you are coming from a club uh, or a youth organization, you can register just once and then list the uh, students or the youth that you are planning on bringing on that same registration. What uh, to expect from the trainings? Well, during the trainings, we're going to basically, uh, a lot of this is to help people become influencers in their community on important issues. Uh, for this particular subject, we are talking about substance abuse and misuse. So there is going to be part of the training on there. But we do want to let you know that you can, when you're, when you're trying to recruit youth to come to this, let them know uh, if they have other passions that they're interested in becoming social cause influencers through social media or, or social advocates out in the community, activists, this is a great training for them to actually learn how to be inspired and to use their own voice and networks to impact their own peers uh, and community. So the first part is about empowerment and understanding the actual influence that we have. Uh, then you're going to learn some of the latest prevention information and facts when it comes to uh, substance abuse and misuse. This particular initiative is about all substance abuse and misuse. So we're talking from tobacco, vaping, alcohol, opioids, uh, marijuana, the whole nine yards. Uh, we're, we're talking about all of those things. Um, then you are going to learn some basic creative videography. This is ways that you will be able to enhance the videos that you make, whether it's on your cell phone, on your Snapchat and Instagrams, or if you're using more elaborate systems like a camera and an editing system. Uh, so we're going to give you some tips of how to make some alluring videos. And you're also going to learn the rules of the contest so that everyone has fair standing ground when it comes to uh, participating and having a chance to win the contest. Contest, you say? Yes, contest. Not only are we trying to get as many people out there creating PSAs, we're going to award some awards based on some of this following here. Uh, first of all, the contest is going to be running for the whole summer up until September 18th. That is because we need some time to judge before our award ceremony, which is happening on September 22nd. Just so you know, uh, I, Scott Michaels, and some of our crew will be at an event on June 4th called Rockin' for Recovery, which is uh, from Sussex County Health Coalition. And if you end up coming down to that wonderful concert, come stop by our table and you'll actually be able to, to start entering the contest right at that point. Uh, all right, then participants, I want people to know you can enter as many times as you want. 
So the reason why we're doing this is, is threefold. First of all, the more messages coming out from our participants, the more saturation we have. Second, we do believe that people will be able to improve upon their messages as they start to do this work. So we wanna give them a chance to uh, do that improving. And then third, say you uh, attend a training and make a video there, but then about two or three weeks later, all of a sudden you have the aha moment that says, oh, I know the video that I want to promote, the, pr the protective factor I want to promote, or, or you, you take time to create a real elaborate video. You can always just keep entering the contest as the more videos we have, the better. There are going to be two levels of awards split by ages. We'll have the youth awards from 14 to 18 and the, uh, the, uh, older youth from the 19 to 25. The award categories, we're gonna have some top overall PSAs. I'll explain what that's got the rubric in a second. There's also gonna be a category for the production above and beyond award. That is people who don't just pull out their cell phone uh, and, and whip out a quick PSA, but take the time to make an elaborate, uh, really beautiful commercial or PSA. And then we're also gonna have an influencer of the year award, which is basically about which uh, participant had the most outreach and engagement due to their messages on their social media? What you're looking at right now is the general rubric that we're heading into the contest with. Uh, this might be changed by the time we have our first training on June 28th. But what I'd like to do is just have you see how we're going to be judging this. There are criteria going down on the left side. We have general info, required contents, production, creativity, message, and memorable. And then across you have level four, three, two, and one. At the, all the way on the right, there is a blank spot and that's where the judges will be able to put the score based on the rubric. So if you see, most of these actually are very straightforward of how to get a level four uh, checkpoint. So for example, if you do all of the general information, that means you you registrate, uh, you do the registration completed, after, uh, you submitted your PSA on time, your PSA has been posted on social media and you attended one of the trainings, you'll get four points. So you might be asking, hey, what if I don't attend a training? Well, you can still enter, you just will get only three points when it comes to the general info criteria. That doesn't mean you can't win, um, but that is, that's how that works. And as you can see, the rest of the rubric sort of follows the same patterns. Uh, the next one I just wanted to point out, just go through one more, is uh, level four for required contents. We're going to have every PSA is going to have to include the hashtag of my reason why DE. Every required PSA is going to hopefully have a, a fact or a resource that uh, is going to point people to something about substance abuse and misuse, but then quickly go to a my reason why, and then everyone is going to be 30 seconds or less. So if you can see participants will have a very clear understanding and anything that they don't understand on here is going to be gone over during the trainings. These next two categories are how we are going to, to uh, look at the other two categories of um, winners, which is the production above and beyond and the outreach awards. As you can see, the production above and beyond is going to be using more specific titles and logos, multiple angles, edits, things like that. Um, so you'll see how you can sort of rate yourself in that category. And the outreach is going to show you basically that is based on who has shared it or um, we're looking for people to do a call of action. So that means not only share your own my reason why, but get other youth to participate. So we are really trying to snowball this. It's an each one teach one type moment. So um, if a student starts to spread the message and they their PSA was then shared by others. So this now encourages their friends and family. So let's say Sally Johnson puts out her PSA and her dad shares it and her aunt shares it and her stepmom shares it, then all of a sudden she is going to be uh, ranking some more points. Uh, and then also uh, look at that. We're going to look for PSA engagement, which means it's got likes, you know, thumbs up or comments on it. So it's not just saying this many people saw it, but how many people liked it, shared it or commented on it. So these are the ways that we're going to be judging that. Now, what if more than one of these entrants come into a tie? Well, if they are generally all along the same level of video, we're going to throw the entrance into a generator and pick randomly the winners. However, 
to be completely transparent and honest. This is a campaign that if uh, a video stands truly above and beyond, it is within the executive decision of the funders of the contest if they deem a PSA to be prize worthy uh, uh, that is above and beyond ones that all scored the highest points. Um, I'm going to stop there just to make sure that I, because I, I'm not looking at people. Um, are, are people understanding this? Is this clear so far? Yes. Okay. Katie, is this clear for you? Are you? Yep. Yeah. And Dana, who is our data person, this is clear. They, those are the two most important clarity. Books, but All right, great. I'm going to get back to it and we will have time for questions and answers. Um, I wanted to really, it's, we're all about intention right now with the cause in the state. And so here are why we are doing this. First of all, we're trying to create a unified message from multiple messengers. So um, that's why we're doing this in all three counties throughout the state. But we are uh, what this is going to generate is peer-to-peer -peer messages made from cell phones. It's going to generate professional quality PSAs made at the trainings. So we are going to be able to reach people uh, through grassroots movement all the way to uh, we have some budget to boost things on YouTube. Um, so, in truth, uh, even though this is youth participants, we want this to look like a community uh, community effort, especially for these youth serving organizations to help support this, because you are all in the field of prevention anyway, uh, whether you know it or not, if you are providing services for youth and activities, you're providing alternative activities. So we're just trying to get everyone together uh, in the state to have a unified message that, hey, we can uh, we could say no to substances and misuse because we're doing positive things. Uh, and here's things that you can do. The second thing is we're trying to unite youth serving organizations. You have all heard the phrases of silos and that uh, a lot of us in the prevention field or in youth work are working in silos, all working on the same goals, but not working cross over pollinating together. So we really would love this uh, effort to be a chance for Delaware organizations to reach out, meet new organizations, network, share each other's messages. So we have a goal of, of at least 10 organizations bringing children to uh, or supplying some of our participants to this. And also remember, you can get your youth to say, hey, my reason why is because I spend all day at the Boys and Girls Club making music videos and, and there's nothing better than that. So um, one of our direct intentions is to get more organizations out there. So please share this to any organizations that you know. We're also trying to get at least, I'm gonna put 40 positive peer-to-peer -peer messages made. That's saying that we're gonna get at least 10 from each of these trainings. Of course, my goal is much, much higher than that. Um, but we are, we're, we're looking for the, at least the creation of 20 to 40 of these messages. Um, but again, I, I'd like to see hundreds if possible. And we are gonna have opportunities uh, at some festivals and fairs for people to do those. Uh, we're also trying to get Delaware organizations to learn and utilize resources. So part of this package, when you come to the trainings, you're gonna learn about some of the resources available uh, to people either in the prevention field, when it comes to evidence-based tools that you can use to help people uh, live healthy lives, but then also tools and resources for people who might be already experiencing addiction. So that's one of the other goals is to connect people to resources. Another goal is to engage youth and amplify their voices. So we got a lot of people trying to be influencers out there in the state of Delaware, but how many are being amplified in a positive way? Uh, and I'm just going to point out that there's a, a person in Delaware uh, called the Weed Queen, and she celebrates marijuana on Instagram, and she has more engagement and followers than the University of Delaware. And so we need to be able to combat those messages with positive messages by, and the only way to really do that is by amplifying those voices. Uh, and then also we are basically I'm trying to promote four or more of these PSAs on various media. I think I might have skipped over a slide that talks about the uh, contest. Hold on one moment. Oh, I guess not. Maybe it's just within there. Um, so what are the prizes? Is This has to do with the prizes. So for those production prize and for the uh, the three different levels, 
the through a partnership with the Delaware Prevention Partner, uh, at very least, the prizes are going to be boosted videos, which means the participants are going to get a, uh, a budget and their PSA promoted as if it were a commercial on either Instagram or YouTube uh, so that, in fact, they get thousands of views on their message. Um, we are going to be putting together some other prize packages uh, to help this go along as we put this together. But at the very least, uh, our guaranteed prize is that the winners of these will get exposure of their messages. And of course, that's a great thing to put on any resumes that they have. And, you know, when it comes down to kids and they look at their videos, their first question is, well, how many likes do you have? And so we will be buying them likes. Um, so right there, that is basically the overall of what we're doing. I just wanna make sure that we are now, yes, into the Q&A time. Um, I will then go back to those uh, registrations because you, uh, if, if people need to register or follow those down. But are there any questions as of now? And uh, it was this straightforward, I hope. Yes, Matt, for the training um, that's on one of the four trainings that uh, we would need to attend, is that training for the, uh, the teachers, the staff, and the youth as well? It is. It will be directed towards the youth, but any staff who comes would be wonderful because then they would be able to properly support the creation of the videos. One of the reasons that we're really trying to reach out, not directly to the youth necessarily, but to youth serving organizations is to help so that you can help them become accountable in submitting the, the, the PSAs. Um, also, we had talked about um, cherry picking or not cherry picking, but having volunteer staff members from these different organizations to help in the judging process to make it a real fair judging process. Okay, thank you. We're, thank you. I'm at the Greater Milford Boys and Girls Club and we're very excited about it. I actually have one of my youth I see that's actually going to be one of the peer leaders that's on the link as well with our team director. So we're very excited about this. Fantastic. And uh, I, you know, what we're really trying to provide here and what I'm really excited to provide is this is really a tool for you and your organizations to, to get work done that you need to do, which is like engaging youth, getting some PSAs, including about your stuff. So I hope people see this as the calling card that it can be to engage youth into programs this summer. And it's really simple too. It's like a, uh, if you go to a training, it's a one day commitment uh, and then they can create PSAs the rest of the summer. And then uh, at, in September, we're all meeting together live at Bellevue Community at the theater. Um, so it's, it's an easy way for them to feel like they're making a difference. Uh, but th thank you for that question. Thank you. Any other questions? And we are going to, uh, I was talking to one of our great partners is Crystal uh, with the Sussex County. And so we are going to be doing um, this again, this Q&A, uh, probably in about a month or so, uh, if people missed it. But we will be posting this as well. Um, but yeah, the first training, if you, if you want to register and you're in Sussex County, is the first training is going to be June 28th. And again, I'll go back to that registration link. Any other questions? And then Katie, uh, I do want to just make sure that I'm hitting all the points that we needed to hit today. Uh, in this yeah, point. no, you did a fabulous job. Um, again, I think that this is just a greater um, movement, uh, youth-led movement. We want to make sure that it's providing uh, an outlet for our youth that are champion um, living healthy lives, staying away from um, drugs. Many of you providers are already, you know, already have um, wonderful trainings, wonderful activities for the youth. But this is just another way to have a singular voice across the state um, and, and just provide other opportunities and other in-depth training of, of why they're already being resilient and why they're choosing to live healthy lives. So um, really appreciate Scott for all of his work and uh, appreciate all of you that are out there in the field working with youth every day. So um, as Scott said, I echo if you, if you know of any other entities that um, would like to be involved, if you work with any other partners, 
feel free to pass this video along. We want to make sure that we make this as inclusive and give any opportunity for any youth to participate um, in this in this cause. So um, no, great job, Scott. I have no no questions. I did want to point out, thank you, Katie. I did want to just point out um, one other thing is that um, the Do Goodathon is this uh, basically a contest that's happening uh, right now, starting May 30th to July 5th. Uh, and what the Do Goodathon is, it's a six week campaign to increase the amount of good in the world. Uh, and the reason why I'm mentioning it is because there is an event called the party at the end. Uh, and first of all, you can enter this contest as an agency or an organization, but I wanted to point you out to what our Do Goodathon activities are this year. And the first highlighted uh, service act is to intentionally share helpful information on social media. So for that reason, on July 9th at the party, um, which is actually called the party part two, uh, we are, and this is what we, these are the partners that we had last year. There is going to be a very large contingent of prevention partners. And we're asking, this is open to all of you to have a table where you have a prevention, uh, some sort of service project that people can do on the spot. And why it's so exciting is because my reason why campaign is gonna be set up there because a service project would be having someone create a quick video on their uh, cell phone with a, you know, a nice background saying, hi, my reason why, uh, and so we're gonna have that set up. Other people can do that. I will put the links in the chat yet. Um, and so, Again, this is another chance for you. It's a free for all of the partners. If you want to be a part of this collective voice that's going to be a, a live point, you can come as a, a representative of the My Reason Why DE, but you can also come and bring your own piece as well. Uh, so that's just another invitation and a, and a way to do it. And again, if people are making those PSAs um, from one of these events where we have the camera set up, they might not get the four points because they didn't do a training. But we do want to encourage that like you still could be a part of this movement, whether or not you do that. Um, I am going to put some links into the chat. So first of all, I'm going to put the www.dogoodathon in the chat. Um, and this is where you can get information on what I was just talking about, the Do Goodathon and the party. Uh, the next is I'm going to put www.tinyurl.com slash, and this is my reason why DE22. Oop, I spelled that wrong. So did I spell do good a thong wrong too, Hayat? Let's see, I guess not. All right, so I'm going to hold on, put this in here. My reason why DE2. This is the link um, to, I'll put this here, to register for one of the trainings. One of trainings. Okay. So that's where you would go. Um, it's basically a Google form and you will click which of the trainings that you would like to attend of the four. And then the last one I'm gonna put is it's a very similar address, which is the my reason why, but without the 22. And this is, that is the training. Oops, I should do that with the label. This is the online virtual training that's gonna be happening in August. And this is, you need to pre-register for that virtual. But I really want to um, really drive home the fact that we're going to have a professional video studio at the live ones. And so uh, if, if that's going to be much more exciting for your participants and youth to come and actually be in front of some studio stuff with the big lights. So the virtual training is here at this one. Boom. And those are our links. And of course, I'm going to put one last thing in the message, which is my email, the cause 411 at gmail is dot com. And this is if you have any questions leading up to uh, to any of these trainings, please reach out to me. All right. At that, I'm going to ask if there's any further questions. And if not, we will adjourn and I will see you all when I see you. OK, thanks, everyone. And um, I will be making this recording available probably on our cause Facebook. Um, share it with people. Uh, but please invite as many people. And we're counting on you as we're, we're relying on you.
to bring in some of these youth participants uh, to these trainings. Thank you very much for being a part of this.